to Nathan Ebank's Children Advocacy Group's Wine and Wishes Benefit Event at Red Rooster in Harlem. Pink and Things celebrating Mishibu's birthday and 28 years on 93.5. Black Grouper, Fava Beans and Mashed Potatoes with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson. Okay on guys, we saw that. We did this together. Noni's annual fashion show like held at St. Gabriel's Golden Hall like in Brooklyn. Style. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. The Nathan E. Banks Children Advocacy Group hosted its annual fundraising event, Wine and Wishes, at the Red Rooster Harlem to benefit children with disabilities and special learning needs in Jamaica. Wine and Wishes, the annual fundraising event of the Nathan E. Banks Children Advocacy Group, created a Jamaican experience at the Red Rooster Harlem. Guests were treated to a specially designed atmosphere, food and drinks, Topped off with entertainment by international recording star Nadine Sutherland. Hey guys, Devon Harris here, three time Olympian and original member of the Jamaica Bobster team. I'm here at this amazing fundraising event to support the Nathan e. Banks Foundation. It's a children's advocacy group they do some amazing work in jamaica supporting children with disability my name is christine stapley banks and i am the founder of the nathan banks foundation in jamaica we're a non-profit organization which got founded when my son my own son nathan was diagnosed with a major disability cerebral palsy back in 2004 and as a family we could not find the services available in jamaica that we need we couldn't get the help we couldn't get the support and as as a result, we took Nathan to the United States for assessments and it was there that we learned that there were things that we can do um, to support children with disabilities. And so we formed the Nathan e. Banks Foundation as an outreach organization that works with local Jamaican as well as um, international persons to raise funds so that we can improve the lives of children with disabilities. We do know that there are approximately 200,000 children with some form of disabilities in Jamaica. What we do know is that we don't have enough services, we don't have enough, and when I talk about services, I'm talking about basic services like occupational therapy, speech therapy, special education program, assistive technology. We don't have those available in Jamaica and so through the foundation Foundation. Our goal is to become a bridge to bring support into Jamaica to serve these children and families. Paying back and giving forward and just keep helping out. Kids with disability, they need our support. So as you know, Chef Patrick, I'm always going to be a part of something that's going to help uplift and build. And this is what we're about. Raffle and live auction prices included autograph training spikes from Usain Bolt, a private dinner for six prepared by executive chef and celebrity chef to the stars Winford Patrick Simpson in the privacy of the winner's home and the Jim Jamaican mini vacation experience for two. Take it up. <laughs> no, not you. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> two, yes. four, yes. six, yes. three, eight, three. Four one five. The raffle prize winner, the four day, three night dream vacation. Oh my god. Mini vacation experience for two. Oh my god. Well, thank you for supporting us. You couldn't have won had you not supported us. One love. Early intervention is very, very serious. Research shows that early intervention is one of the most essential supports children with disabilities need in order for them to develop healthy and thrive early. Intervention simply means doing things as early as possible in order to achieve the best results. Our lives were forever changed as a family with a diagnosis and we had to make a choice. And the choice was if we were having this problem and we are educated people, professional people in Jamaica, then what about the families that didn't have access? And so what came to us as a problem, we chose to use it as a gift to give back to Jamaica. Hi, this is 
Majestry Raw with Johnny's Cheesecake. We're proud sponsors of the Nathan Ebanks Advocacy Group. Proudly support kids with disability in Jamaica and around the world. We're here serving up our lovely cheesecake. I want to be a part of it because of what they're doing, but also I'm just proud of that my alums came to America, my St. Andrew High School. Four girls, yeah, proud, proud, came to America and they have lived here, but they still feel a sense of responsibility to the children of Jamaica. That is what really is the motivation behind me being here, just seeing that my school nurtured women of substance. This is Cause no one makes me feel quite like you. The things you say, my lips, the things you do. This is war. Welcome to Mishibu's of 93.5 FM. Pink and Things birthday dinner celebration. Yes, and she's also celebrating 28 years on Irish Jam Radio. Where? Nowhere else but Sandsman Bar and Grill out here in Laurenton, Queens. Come chat with me with their inner door. So, hear me now. Keep it locked. Ziggy bless. Friends and family came out in pink to celebrate Mishibu's birthday and 28 years on Irish Jam Radio at Sands Bar and Grill in Queens. Birthday shout outs by the step and repeat. Yeah, welcome to Mushibo's Pink and Things birthday and dinner celebration. Hello, what's your name, Mui? Hi, my name is Sandy English. I'd like to wish Mishibu a wonderful birthday. I've known her for more than 10 years. Wonderful person, so I'm happy to come out and celebrate your birthday at this Pink and Things celebration. I want to tell my sister in that I wish her a long life and I wish her happiness and I wish her everything, all the best for her Earth Strong for today. I want to say happy, happy birthday. We wish you lots of luck and many, many more to come and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I want to wish Michi, a personality radio enthusiast, a happy and blessed birthday and wish her many, many more years. She's an awesome lady. I love watching her, listening to her and she's just great. Guests dined on codfish fritters, barbecue wings, fried chicken wings and plantains before enjoying meals such as stewed chicken and vegan dishes. <laughs> Anthony Mailer, Lion Melter, and Screechy Don serenade the birthday girl. family come chat with me TV we're live here inside of Sands Bar and Grill we're in Queens New York in a Laurelton community I am Mishibu of 93.5 WVIP and we're celebrating 28 years on the radio five years of my insiders radio show and to my left my big sister Sandra well go on Sandra respect big up Mishibu happy birthday and many blessings to you as always baby continue doing what you always do and thanks so much for the support and you know if we need any help have a call Sandra and to my right is my baby son that they call it mommy wash belly <laughs> ice and of course he's a sport reporter on the radio show as well those guys with the sports and I'm so happy he's here with me it's so hard to get him come out and uh, I'm so proud of him five years of doing sports on the radio what do you have to say ice I just want to wish you a happy birthday mama you know, it's been a long time coming. We've been doing this for a long time. You've been doing radio for a long time. I joined you now, and I'm just so happy right now for you. Thank you so much. And of course, to my right is the eldress, Miss Delia. Welcome, Miss Delia. Not a thing, my dear. Happy to see you. You're looking so beautiful. Happy birthday, and all the best in life. Take care, Michi. Happy birthday. Enjoy. Enjoy. One, two, three. 
28 years now, Sheila, she's on radio yes. and Irie and Iri Jam FM. I, that's a really long time. I do listen to her actually. You yeah. listen to her? Yes, I do, definitely. What do yeah. you love about her show mainly? It's just the vibe, you know, just the, the interaction that she has with yeah. the guest audience and the yeah. entertainers. Yeah. It's just a nice, warm feeling, you know? She's been on 93.5 for, like, for many, many years. So you listen to her, her program, The Insiders? I do, every week. Every what do you like about it? I like the way she talks, I like what she, you know, says, brings to her program. She's very informative and, you know, she's a very nice person. You don't know, everything is good because they are celebrate with, you know, the great Mishibu, you understand? This is Terry, otherwise known as Aurel, you understand? I'm just one big up her, I always listen to her on the radio, love the voice, you understand? And the, the, the energy where she give off. And I just want to say, holy poly, more if you come. You understand? And bless up, sis. I shouldn't be too frail. Wouldn't do that to me. Don't know what I was thinking. You never turned out to run to me. But this thing I couldn't see. That you're the girl for me. All right, guys, this week you're inside the kitchen with me. What were they? In at the kitchen. And I'm going to do something totally different. I'm doing a black grouper that is going to be served over some fiber beans and some mashed potato. This is going to be crazy. This you want to see. You don't want to miss this. So keep it locked. As a matter of fact, come with me. Let's go cook something. In at the kitchen. This week, I'm doing a black grouper, black grouper fish. And it's gonna be curry, curry black grouper. And I'm gonna do a miso bourbon sauce that's gonna go with it. Make it simple, I'm gonna go with some pepper, a little bit of crushed pepper, black pepper, over him, looking real good. I'm gonna go with some garlic powder. And this, you can also leave this to marinate for a little bit inside the refrigerator. I'm gonna go with some Obey seasoning, nice. And you're gonna flip over your fish and do this on both sides. I'm gonna go with my curry paste, Walker's Wood, and I wanna marinate this, not too much. Not too much because this, this is real good and this is real strong. And I wanna massage this in a little bit to give it that nice flavor. Massage them in on both sides. Put that inside the refrigerator and let that marinate for probably about, I would say about 30 minutes. Put a little bit of oil on it because when I put it into the skillet, I want it to not to stick. I'm gonna rub some fresh garlic on him. Some fresh garlic, just like that. My oil, nice. This one I'm gonna use for my sauce. So now, you're gonna see, I'm gonna go skin side down first. And each one I put, I'm gonna shake it because I don't want it to stick. Nice. And you can use red snapper. You can use any kind of fish that you like. You can even use salmon. Just like that, because I don't want him to stick. A little bit of oil. 
and I'm also gonna go with a little bit of butter because you know I like to enhance the flavor with the butter. A little bit of oil, a little bit of butter. I'm gonna go with one tablespoon red pepper, one tablespoon green pepper, Spanish onion, all right, and I'm gonna go with some fresh thyme. Some fresh thyme, nice. I'm gonna go with some fresh garlic. All right, wonderful. I'm gonna go with a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of ove, and then I have a little bit of my sauce I have a little bit of fish base right here that's ready. But before I do the fish base, I'm gonna do a little bit of my bourbon. A little bit of bourbon. All right, beautiful. And then I'm gonna go with my fish base. And I'm also gonna finish this off. I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit of seaweed salad. Okay guys, as you know, we're gonna go right into plating. And this is my favorite part right here. I'm just doing some mashed potato, real simple, real easy. And then I'm gonna go for some fiber beans with a little bit of seaweed salad. And as you know, I like to stack my food because it's the presentation with stacking your food it looks so good and stand out. I'm gonna put my fish right on the top. Nice two pieces. I'm just going for nice two pieces, simple. Pour the sauce right on the top and let the sauce drizzle down a little bit. Simple. Okay guys, you saw that. We did this together. You see how simple this is and how easy this look. Next week, you're gonna be in for a surprise what I'm gonna be making. Which part of your day? In the kitchen. African cloth retailer, design house Noni Styles, L her annual fashion show at St. Gabriel's Golden Hall in Brooklyn. I've always loved fashion. I like, I like to look good, let me put it this way. And I like to see everybody looking good, especially women. I like them to look nice. So that was what inspired me to dress women up. I just got to participate in the most amazing fashion show with one of my favorite designers, Noni of Noni's African Fashion. She's so fantastic. She's actually um, based out of Brooklyn, right on Nostrum Avenue. Actually, Hoth, um, right, right, right over there by, um, yeah, Nostrum Avenue. And I first encountered her about a year ago. She makes custom, she makes all kind of things that could fit any occasion. I mean, I've worn her pieces to work. I've worn one of her pieces to an event and I snatched everybody's attention. Noni's a really, really amazing designer, and she makes clothes that, it's like a fusion of that, of your roots, the culture, the continent, but it's so fresh, so today, like, at formal events, I've worn a Noni piece and upstaged everybody. I am from Trinidad and Tobago. I reside in St. Lucia, and I'm living up here now. Um, I've been modeling for quite a number of years now. It's, it's a fantastic event, I love it. Don't mind the age. It's just a number, you can do anything, it's possible. I'm also a plus size model. So, because of your size, there is no limitation. You can still do what you have to do. I am born and raised Jamaican. I uh, came here about nine years now. I reside in the Bronx, and I've been modeling for four years. This is just a wrap. Who could have, like, and I did, I, I worked it. Like, who could have believed? <laughs> I'm very, very picky. It takes a lot, you know, like, for somebody to impress me when it comes to fashion. So that's why I create my own style, my fashion, and that's how it's been. I 
I like originality and I like style. I like unique stuff. And that's why I came up with this uh, design, just something different, something unique and something nice. If it's showtime, the cameras are watching, give them all you got. Don't hold back, that's how I felt, that's what I gave them. Hi, my name is Inez, and I'm from Harlem, New York, and I'm here today at Noni's African Fashion Show, an annual presentation of beautiful African fashion. Well, I have to say that this is my first fashion show ever. I'm an amateur at this, but I had an amazing time. It was wonderful. It was an amazing experience with all the other girls. I really enjoyed myself today. I am inspired by fashion of all different kinds. So uh, I love international fashion, such as uh, this beautiful pieces that Noni has created. And then, um, yeah, I just, I love all fashion. Um, I really like the one that I'm wearing. I like the bright colors and the rainbows. It makes me happy. I have a store on one, 1215 Nostrand Avenue between Houghton and Winthrop. And over there we custom make and we have a lot of um, fabrics. You can pick your fabrics and we create something from, for you. And we have um, different um, items like shoes and bags, gillies and um, you know, different things. I just invite you to come to the store and fill your eyes with what we have there. Mark Shields, former Deputy Commissioner of Police in Jamaica and former Detective Chief Superintendent of Scotland Yard, will present at the 14th Annual CIN Lecture Series on the topic, Jamaica's Crime Monster, Can It Be Tamed? Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Come chat with me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. Walk with the Bible, leave out the crowd, prison on the front, brother, and try over her. I know, one day, 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 one day,